Welcome to a tutorial on ICPSR's Online Data Access Request System, IDARS. This tutorial will explore the roles of the people associated with the application for using Restricted Use Data, the Principal Investigator, or PI, Research Staff, and the Institutional Representative who signs the agreement on behalf of the PI's institution. We are starting at the ICPSR main page and will go to the Find Data page where you can see that I have already logged in to my My Data account. We'll go back to the Restricted Use Data page by clicking on the link at the bottom of this page. Clicking on the My Restricted Data Agreements button will take us back to the application that is associated with My My Data account. We are using ICPSR study number 31142, Chicago Community Adult Health Study 2001-2003 as an example in IDARS. To open the application, simply click on the title of the project. Please note that the example for these tutorials does not have a title yet. We'll take care of that in this tutorial. The main page tells us that none of the sections are complete. We're going to work through those sections that request information on the people who will have access to the data. It is okay to complete the sections out of order. For people who will have data access on this application, we need to have full names, office address, email address, computer make, model, and operating system. The first person that we'll look at is the principal investigator, or PI. Some studies like this one require a terminal degree to be a PI. In other studies, a terminal degree is not required of the PI but there must be a sponsor named who does have a terminal degree. And in still other cases, the terminal degree is not required at all. The IDARS application will include the terms for the PI on the investigator's information page. Also, the agreement in PDF format is available on the application's main page, which has all the terms. In the upper right-hand corner of the application, click on the button to Download Agreement PDF for a copy. Let's click on the link for the investigator information. At the top of this page, you're asked for a research project title. Many studies ask that the research project title relate to the IRB title. We don't have an IRB, but let's name the project Influence of Education on Health. Then we'll work through the form providing the PI's complete physical address, title, department, institution, phone number, and email address. At the bottom of the page, there is an assertion that the PI has a terminal degree. This box needs to be checked. We'll complete the information about the PI's computer and operating system in a section later in the application process. In the case of a doctoral student who is seeking this study for his or her dissertation, the PI could be the dissertation advisor and the student will be listed in the research staff information page. Some restricted use studies that are held at ICPSR cannot be released to researchers who are outside of the U.S. If you are a researcher who is at an institution outside the U.S., check the study's application for such a notation or send an email to staff. Appropriate email addresses for questions on this process are in the description box below this video. To retain the information that you have entered on the page, be sure to click the Save and Continue button, which returns us to the main page of the application. Please note that the website recognizes when all the required fields are complete and will alert you when a section is complete. Next, we'll click on the Research Staff Information link. In many restricted studies, the staff is anyone who will have access to the data and or will handle data files in any capacity. Generally, there's no limit to the number of staff members allowed on a project. Be sure to check the application for your study as this requirement may include IT staff or data librarians who may be handling data files. On the other hand, if you, as the PI, will be the only person with access to the data, you need to check this box attesting to that fact and click on Save and Continue to complete this section. 
to add staff, click on the Add a Staff Member button, which takes you to a page asking for the staff member's full name, email address, make and model of their computer and its physical location, and the staff member's institutional affiliation. Click on Save and Continue to complete the entry for this staff member. This returns us to a page which lists the individuals who have already been entered as research staff and a button to add a staff member. In this section, the website will recognize that the appropriate fields have been completed for the first staff member and will give you a complete indicator next to research staff information on the application's main page. But this section won't be complete until all of your staff members information has been entered. The individuals who are entered in this section will receive an email with a link to an agreement for use of sensitive data and an individual security pledge. Before the application can be approved, each person must read and sign the pledge. In the future, after the application is approved and it becomes an agreement, the PI will return to this section to delete researchers who are no longer on the project and add new ones. The last place information on a person is needed is under Final Signatures, where the PI and the institutional representative sign the agreement. The agreement to use restricted data is between ICPSR at the University of Michigan and the institution where the PI is employed. So the institutional representative needs to be a person at the PI's institution who can sign a legally binding agreement on behalf of that institution. Generally, that person is at the provost or vice president of research or sponsored project level or a designated individual in those offices. When the application is complete, the PI downloads and prints a copy of the agreement by clicking on the link for Restricted Data Use Agreement in Step 1, signs it, and sends it to the institutional representative for countersignature. If the institutional representative wishes to make changes to a term in the agreement, send an email to the appropriate address in the description box below and request a copy of the agreement in Word format, which you can send to the institutional representative to propose changes and return it to the archive. Often these changes can be easily accommodated, but at times changes have to be approved by the Office of Research and Sponsored Project here at the University of Michigan, which may impact the approval process. When the agreement is signed by both parties, the PI scans the signature page, saves it as a PDF file, and returns to this page of the application and attaches the signed file by clicking on the button Choose File after Step 3 on this page, specifies the completed signature page and uploads it to the application. To ensure that the file will be saved, click Save and Continue to return to the main page. We will continue to work through this application, completing each of the sections. When we're done with the application, we'll submit it for review and approval. This has been a tutorial on completion of the application section about people in an IDARS request for data.